let's come to standing. Let's start by just grounding, slowing down our breath, finding relaxation where we are. Long breath in and out. And then inhale your right leg up. And we'll start by just rotating our ankles. Then reverse the rotation. Then rotate at your knees. Reverse the rotation. Then lower your right leg. Inhale your left leg up. Rotate at your ankle. Reverse the rotation. Rotate at your knee. Reverse the rotation. Lower your leg. Hands to knees. Just rotating around the knees and the opposite direction. Just gradually warming up our legs. Now hands on your hips. Gently rotating. Reverse the rotation. Then bring your hands to Namaste. Inhale, sweep your arms wide and high. In your fingers, taking a mudra. And exhale, bending to your right, to your left side, stretching out through your right side. Inhale, stretch apart. Exhale, soften into your bend. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, soften. Inhale, up to center. Exhale to your left side to your right side, opposite side. Inhale, stretch apart. Exhale, soften further. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, soften. Inhale, back to center. Come to your front of the mat. So we do a gentle, easy Surya Namaskar, some salutation, before we work our warrior poses. Inhale, sweep your arms wide and high. Exhale, fold. Inhale, step back with your right foot to lunge. Exhale your left foot back, coming into down dog. Inhale forward to plank. Exhale lower all the way and tuck your toes. Inhale for a gentle cobra. Then tuck your toes, exhale back to down dog. Inhale the right foot forward to lunge. Exhale your left foot meets it, folding in Uttanasana. Bend your knees more deeply. Inhale sweep both arms wide and high. Exhale back through Namaste to Tadasana. Inhale, sweep your arms wide and high. Exhale, fold. Inhale, your left foot back to lunge. Exhale, your right foot meets it in down dog. Inhale, forward to plank. Exhale, lower all the way and tuck your toes. Inhale, gentle cobra. Tuck your toes, exhale back to down dog. Inhale, your left foot forward to lunge. Exhale, folding in Uttanasana. Bend your knees more deeply. Inhale, sweep both arms wide and high. Exhale through Namaste. Back to Tadasana. I'm just going to move to the side of the mat. Stay where you are at the front of your mat. We're going to practice our warriors. Starting at the front of your mat, hands on your hips. Step back with your right foot. Taking a nice deep lunge. Have your back foot parallel with the back edge of your mat. Hands on the hips at the moment as you're deepening the bend of your knee. Have a look where your knee is. Make sure it's not tracking in front of your ankle, but directly over the knee. Not in, not out, but directly over the ankle. Once you've set up your foundations, then bring your hands up. Yeah? This is our warrior three pose. Soften your shoulders away from your neck. One way to do that is turn your palms up. Soften your shoulders, then turn your palms back, leaving them soft. Keep pushing strongly through the outer edge of your back foot. Gazing out over your front middle finger. Make sure your body is perfectly upright. Not leaning forward, but upright. And we're working our legs. Deep bend of your front leg, or pushing out through the outer edge of your back leg. That's your warrior two pose. One more breath here. And hands to hips, step forward. I'll go to the other side of the mat. Step back with your other legs. We're doing the other side now. Again, deepen the pose. Push through the outer edge of your back foot. Deep bend of your front knee. When your pose, when your foundations are correct, then bring your arms up. Yeah? Make sure your body is vertically aligned. Softening your shoulders away. You can turn your front palm or both palms down if you like. Then leaving your shoulders soft, turn your palms back. 
Keep pushing through the outer edge of your back foot, deepening the bend of your front knee, working your foundations, strengthening your foundations. And when the pose is set up, bring yourself back to your breath. One more breath here. Then hands to hips, step forward. That's warrior two. We're going to do warrior one now. So big step back. Slightly less step back, sorry, my bad. Face the front, square your hips, lift your back heel, square your hips to the front. With your back hip, heel lifted, your hips square, then lower your back heel. That will give you the right angle for your back foot. Okay? Once you've done that, once you've got your foundation set up, bring your hands up. Arms face one another. There's different variations of this pose. Some people have their hands together. I like having them apart because I like a little bit, bit of breath in my shoulders. I don't like smashing my shoulders. But keep on pushing through the outer edge of your back foot, deepening the bend of your front knee again, once again. Straight arms. And then with the pose set up, back to your breath. Slowing down your breath, finding comfort in the pose. One more breath here. Then hands to your hips, step forward. Step back with the opposite leg, about three quarters of the length of your mat. Lift your back heel, square your hips to the front. With your hips square to the front, then lower your back heel. That will give you the right angle for your back foot. Yeah? Once you've set up your foundations, bring your arms up. Yeah? Keep drawing your back hip, both hips, now square into the front. So the back leg, that hip you draw forward, the front hip, you draw that back, square your hips to the front. Keep bending for more deeply in your front knee while pushing through the outer edge of your back foot. Soften your shoulders away from your neck. Bring yourself back to your breath. One more breath here. And hands to your hips, step forward. We're going to do a slight variation. This is called crescent lunge. It's almost the same as warrior one, except we lift the back heel off the ground. That turns it into a bit of a balance pose too. Being balanced, that builds your self-confidence by getting that balance happening. So take a big step back, or not a big step back, a three quarter step back with your right foot. Lift your back heel, square your hips to the front. So this time we don't lower the back heel. We leave the back heel lifted. Otherwise it's the same as our warrior one. And inhale both arms high. Yeah. Notice how we're balancing now. So the slight difference here, we're balancing on that back leg. So a little bit more challenging, but then we arch back with our back. So inhale, lift your heart high and exhale, soften into your back bend. Notice how that becomes more challenging with your balance. Find the level that's right for you. So don't go to the point where you're uncomfortable, where it's not good for you. Work your back bend just to the point where you're comfortable with it. You're finding your limit. One more breath here. And hands to your hips, step forward. Step back with your left foot, about three quarters of the length of your mat. Lift your back heel. We keep our back heel lifted this time. Hips square to the front. Deepen the bend of your front knee. Keep pushing through the back leg. And inhale, both arms high. Palms facing one another, and then move into a back bend. Inhale your height, heart high. Exhale, soften. So it's a gentle back bend. We don't push it too hard. We find what is right for us. I should tell you a story while we're here. A fellow teacher of mine, Sheila. Sheila's got such a flexible back that she was standing in front of me in a class, and she bent back so far that she, she was looking back at me with her head upside down. Freak me out, that's great watching it. Okay, exhale, hands to hips, step forward. That's our warrior, that's our crescent lunge. Now we're gonna to move to our warrior three, because we've built up the length and the strength of our legs. We're gonna to go to our balance pose, full balance pose. Just move back here, see some more. Okay. So warrior three is a balance pose. We're aiming to be able to bring ourselves, hopefully so that we're somewhat parallel to the ground. That's where we're headed. But it doesn't matter if you don't achieve that, because as soon as you take one foot off the ground, you're balancing. Okay? So start by taking all of your weight on your, on your right foot, lift and spread your toes, lower them spread. 
Engage your left leg, your right leg muscles, engage your core. Inhale both arms high. And start to tilt your body, lifting your left leg behind you, keeping your arms, straight line from your arms to your foot. And if this is as far as you go, that's okay. If you're practicing and it's, you're struggling just to get your foot off the ground, that's okay. Just practice moving that foot off the ground. And if you can, can you tilt further forward? Keep on tilting further forward. And just taking your time slowly. If it's as far as you go, that's fine. But working towards having your body parallel to the ground, finding the level that's right for you, taking your time getting there, slowly lifting that foot up. And then let's slowly come back up again. Exhale your hands down. Don't know about you, but I'm starting to warm up now. We'll do the other side. All your weight on your left foot. Lift and spread your toes, lower and spread. Engage the left leg muscles, engage your core. Inhale both arms high. And start to tilt your body forward, lifting your right foot behind you. And again, if you struggle to balance on one foot, Keep on going back to lowering your foot. And just practice slowly lifting that foot up. And if that's okay for you, then start to lift that foot higher. Keep that straight line from your arms to your back foot. So you're lifting your right leg behind you, slowly taking your time, working towards getting your body parallel around. And then coming up when you're ready. One more time, doing it both sides. Inhale both arms high. And start lifting your left leg behind you. Slowly tilting your body. Working towards your expression of the pose. And when you get there, if your body is anywhere near parallel, Feel into your hips. You want to have your hips square to the ground. You have a tendency to lift that top leg, that, that left hip higher, square that hip back to the ground. One more breath here. It's coming up when you're ready, releasing your hands. Moving to the other side. All your weight on your left leg, lift and spread your toes, widen and spread. Engage the left leg muscles, engage your core. Inhale both arms high. Start to tilt your body. Lifting your right foot behind you, keeping a straight line from your hands to your foot. Slowly working towards your full expression of the pose. Your aim is, if possible, coming parallel with your body to the ground. One more breath here. And slowly come on up. Release your hands. Come to the front of your mat if you're not already there. Now we're going to challenge ourselves even more. Through our yoga practice, we challenge ourselves. We find our own limits. We don't go beyond our limits, but we've practiced working towards our limits and then hopefully extending our limits. And that builds confidence. So now we're going to put this into a flow. We're going to go from warrior three back to crescent lunge and then to warrior two. So let's start with all of our weight on our left leg. Lift and spread the toes, lower than spread. Gaze your core, inhale both arms high. Start tilting your body, lifting your right leg behind you. And working towards your full expression of the pose. Holding this for a breath. And this time as we come on up, we leave our foot further back behind for crescent lunge. Inhale our heart nice and high. And then exhale to warrior two, adjust your back foot, parallel the back edge of your mat. We're in our warrior two pose, pushing out through the outer edge of your back foot, deep in the bend of your front knee. 
and hands to your hips, step forward. You do the other side. Or your weight on your right foot, lift and spread your toes, lower them spread. Inhale, both arms high. Start to lift your left leg behind you. Slowly lifting that leg, stretching out from your hands all the way to your back foot. Working towards your full expression of the pose, as far as is comfortable for you. Holding this for a breath. And then slowly lowering your back foot, keeping that heel high for a present lunge. Inhaling your heart up. And then exhale, warrior two. Holding this for another breath. And then hands to your hips, step forward. Okay, now we've sort of worked our foundations. I want to bring us down to the ground, come to a seated position. And find a comfortable seat. In fact, I'll take the bolster away. What I want you to do, fold back your right leg. We're going to do a twist here. Take your left leg outside of your right leg. Now you want to have both sit bones on the ground and your front foot grounded. If that doesn't work, straighten out your, your right leg. Same pose either way. I'm going to do a twist here. I like to finish with a twist because a twist is a nice way. We've stretched everything apart, then we twist it. It's so healthy for your internal organs. Inhale, both arms high. Exhale, twisting to your left. Take your right arm behind you. Left arm can either hug the knee in or elbow outside of your leg. Then inhale, sit tall. Exhale, twist. Inhale, tall. Exhale, twist. On each breath you take, go at the rate of your breath, but on each inhale, sit as tall as you can. On your exhale, twist further. And looking over your back shoulder, your left shoulder, always coming back to your breath, slowing down your breath, that's what calms your nervous system. That builds confidence by calming your nervous system, reducing anxiety. Then inhale, look in front, exhale, untwist, swap the cross of your legs over. And we go the other side. Make sure your front foot is flat. If your front foot is flat and flat, both sit bones on the ground, fantastic. If not, straighten out your left leg. Your choice of which pose you do. The same with the twist, it doesn't really matter. Inhale, both arms high. Exhale, twist into your right side. Right arm behind you, left arm either hugs the knee in or elbow outside of your leg. Then working with your breath. Every inhale, sit tall. Exhale, twist. Inhale, tall, exhale, twist. Working at the rate of your breath. So as you inhale, sit tall, you stretch your vertebrae apart. As you exhale, you twist a little further. Long, slow and deep with your breathing. Smooth, steady and comfortable. One more breath here. Then inhale, look in front. Exhale, untwist. Take your legs out. Now I'm going to sit on a bolster. I encourage you always, if, if, your hips are, if you're super flexible, you can get your legs up into your lotus position, get your knees down ground. That's fantastic. That no need for anything to sit on. But if you're not, sit up on a bolster. I find it a much more comfortable way of sitting. Okay. And ground down with all our yoga practice, particularly seated practices, from the hips down, we want to have solid, solid foundations. Again, that builds your confidence, solid foundation, but light from the hips up. Soft shoulders, everything is light. Yeah. Do a little bit of Nadi Shodhana. Nadi Shodhana, alternate nostril breathing. We breathe in through our left side, out through our right side. Then in through our right side, out through our left side. And to help us do that, 
we use our fingers. Now, there's a couple of ways of doing it, but I like having my first two fingers on my third eye. I'll use my thumb for closing down one side, my ring finger closing down the other side. Yeah. So thumb will close down one side, I breathe in. I close down the other side, open up the thumb, because I'm closing down the ring finger, I breathe out through the other side. Then back in again, close down, open, breathe out. That's the basis for Nadi Shodhana. You will typically find that one nostril is a bit more uh, clogged than the other nostril. If that's the case, back off from the one that you're closing down, so you still get a full breath in. But visualize, in through left, out through right, in through right, out through left. Visualize it, and you're still gonna get the benefit of our alternate nostril breathing, which sort of balances the left and right hemispheres of your brain. Okay, so bring in your third eye, your third eye, your two fingers to your third eye, thumb outside of right nostril, ring finger outside of left nostril, and start by taking a breath in through both nostrils, closing down your eyes, breathing in, and then out. And then with your thumb, close your right nostril, breathe in through your left. Close your left, open right, breathe out through your right. Breathe in through right, Close right, open left, breathe out through left. Breathe in through left. Close left, open right, breathe out through right. Breathe in through right. Close right, open left, breathe out through left. Breathe in through left. Close left. Open right, breathe out through right. Breathe in through right. Close right, open left, breathe out through left. Now continue this process going at the speed of your breath. Breathing in through one side, then stopping, breathing out through the other side. Breathing in through the other side, then out through the original side. Slow it down, finding a slowness of breath that is right for you. You don't want to go that slow that you're short of breath. So you want to find a balance in your breath. You want to find the deepness of breath that is just right for you. Long, slow and deep, smooth, steady and comfortable with each breath in, with each breath out. And if any of you practice breath retention, then at the top and bottom of each breath, just notice the pause between each breath and gently elongate that pause. This is only for those of you who practice breath retention, but feel free to add the breath retention, Kumbhaka, the pause between each inhale and each exhale. And wherever you're at, ensure that you can breathe smoothly, steadily and comfortably. That is so important in all our pranayama. More important than how deep we go. So find a deepness that's good for you without going so deep that you become short of breath, which defeats the purpose. Long, slow, deep, smooth, steady, comfortable. Finding comfort in our Nadi Shodhana. You may find that your right arm gets tired as you do this. If you do, your options are to either support that arm with your opposite hand, or if you wish, you can swap your hands over. Continuing the flow of your breath. In all yoga, we come back to our breath. We slow our breath. This calms your nervous system. We find comfort in our pose.
The next time you breathe out through your left side, we cease our practice of our alternate nostril breathing, keeping your eyes closed though, feeling into both sides. Alternate nostril breathing, Nadi Shodhana, balances your left and right hemispheres. It's a balancing breath. So keeping in your eyes closed, feeling into the balancing effect from your practice. And then when you're ready, gently opening your eyes. And now I'll pass it over to our next session. We move into our meditative um, session. Thank you, David. My name is Aoi. I will conduct uh, relaxation and meditation this morning. First of all, uh, we will sit next 20 minutes. So please uh, warm yourself with a jumper or if you have a blanket handy, uh, maybe you can wrap around blanket. And um, sit comfortably. If you like, um, you can use a chair to sit. Or if you prefer to sit on the floor, cross leg position, please do so. And when you are ready, close your eyes softly and gently. and focusing for your breathing. And now, wiggle your toes and relax your feet. The energy from Mother Earth enter from your feet to ankles and lower legs. Relax them. The energy moving up to your knees and thigh and hip. Your entire legs are so relaxed. Energy continuously moving up to your spine, lower back, upper back, stomach area and chest. And your torso is relaxed. Now energy going up to your neck and face. Your facial muscle is soft. You can make smile on your face. Energy moving up to the top of the head. And now energy going to your arm, shoulder, upper arms, elbows, forearms, wrist, and hands.
Your entire body is so relaxed. Now bring your attention to your heart. There's a source of light already present within. We are going to do silent meditation with your heart center. If your mind is wandering, don't fight it, neither don't entertain it. Just remember, we are meditating. So gently bring your attention back to your heart center. I will let you know when we finish. So until then, please start meditation.
Your eyes are still closed. And gently observe your condition. Keep this condition much as you can through your day. When you are ready, 
Please gently open your eyes. Thank you. Wow. I don't know about you all, but I surely feel so good and energized right now. I hope this session was as relaxing for you all as it was for me. I feel really relieved of any tension in my body or mind and certainly warmed up to kickstart my day. Thank you so much, David and Aoi for making me feel this way.